Hello guys, it's me again. I'm Nafid. I would like to show you today how to restore a damaged or uh, maybe a formatted, if you like, uh, controller that has no operating system because of formatting or an operating system has been corrupted for whatever reason. And that's a video that will solve your problem. Let's go. So this is an example of a controller that has lost, if you like, its operating system. Now we will uh, have a look at this and we make sure that we understand how to restore that operating system. Now that's a starting menu. You can see that there is or there are four interfaces, uh, G000 up to G003. Uh, now we're going to use this controller is connected with G000 to the network. So we're going to use that interface to restore the operating system. Now you can clearly see the image not present. It says image not present. And that's a result maybe of a corrupt image or an image has been deleted by mistake or has been formatted. It means control X, which means that uh, we are at CP boot mode. If you do print inf, uh, which is in print environment, these are the things that have been set by the user or the things that already been on the system. So I, I, um, I set some parameters in the past now I'm going to purge it and I'll show you how to set these parameters so we can issue, issue the command purge env and that purge env will, um, will delete everything basically. So you can see now what is being deleted and we're going to set these environments. So the first one will be uh, the IP address of the controller and we will take this one as 192.168.1.20. The second one will be the net mask, set env net mask. Um, that would be uh, business as usual, 255.255.0, uh, 325.5, so it's slash 24, set in gateway, we're going to go for the gateway, and gateway will be 192, in this case, uh, 168.1.1. There's another set inf we would like to do is the um, TFTP IP address, so that comes under the server IP, and that is 192.168.1.30, and now we can see that I would like to set the Ethernet interface that we are going to use. So the connection will go through that interface, which is GE0. Now we can see these are the set of uh, parameters that we have set. Now we can notice that the Ethernet address, which is the layer 2 MAC addresses available here, we can add our own if we would like to. So I can set the environment um, we can clearly see here as you can see we can set the environment that um, will indicate the mac address of the ethernet um, zero which is Z g000 here we can see um, we are trying to bing verify the connectivity because this is connected through g00 and we are able to ping the default gateway as well as we are able to ping our uh, TFTP server. Basically, TFTP server is the server that is used, um, you know, the, the machine. Here is the example of the command that we are going to use, upgrade zero, which is partition zero. Uh, uh, then the name of the operating system, this will have been downloaded before, and I chose to install the older one. Um, I'm going to later on show you to install the, how to do um, the version 8. So this is version 6. Um, I said just in case because that's a small operating system and uh, to play it safe we will uh, install now for the time being the version 6.5 using the upgrade command. Uh, it says in here loading there's an issue. Um, starting again so we're going to try that command again. It could have been the case that firewall issue. So you might have firewall issue. Uh, here we are trying to install it on the partition one, so you can see, and I'm turning the firewall off on this machine where the TFTP server is running. Now firewall is off, we're going to turn it off, as you can clearly see. Obviously if you're running Linux or you're running any other operating system, and this is just an example of Windows. So we're going to turn firewall off, and we go to um, advance, and we make sure all the settings are off. For that firewall uh, private public and domain firewall we turn it off we will issue the proper command now upgrade zero upper operating system we will confirm this and 
there we go that should take probably a few minutes and that shouldn't take really much longer than that and um, once that is upgraded the operating system we will reboot the controller to start again and that will take us to the setup script which is the initial one where the controller starts now we can see if we flip to the actual uh, TFTP you can see that uh, you know indication that the system is communicated correctly here we can see that the file is being downloaded from the TFTP into the flash um, of the uh, of the controller and once that happens we will be able to start the setup script from scratch this is just showing you that these are the different files I have them in the firewall uh, in the TFTP area so basically uh, these are different operating systems, different versions of the operating system. Once that finishes, we're going to reboot uh, the controller. The controller reboots, so we will issue the command boot f, uh, boot f command that will uh, reload, or we can use the um, reboot command, that's fine. So once that's done, um, you will be presented with the initial uh, setup script. That initial setup script is then that will enable you to. Um, start the installation of the operating system meaning uh, operating system is there but start the setting up of the parameters like IP address default gateway and all that stuff um, so that's the image being loaded and now that setup script for the version 6.5 now we're gonna see that we will start setting up the controller as a, just an example once you do this uh, you are able to basically Start the controller. We're going to see that the controller will have an IP address. We give a name now, system name. Uh, it is master. This is the older controller uh, parameters, which is quite similar to version 8, but version 8 works um, a different interface. Now, version 10 works a different interface as well. But um, these are certain things here. Uh, we will provide all details. Obviously, in your case, you provide your details. Um, then that will reboot or the force the controller to reboot again the controller will restart again and once that restart maybe it takes between five to seven eight minutes once that comes back online you should be prompted for username to enter the username let's have a look there you go into the details username admin password whatever um, so once that's done the older operating system will ask for enable password you provide these details if you issue the command show version or show image version if you would like you can see what version of the operating system you have let's have a look now you can see this is 6.5.1.1 the very same principle applies now what we can also do we can um, show image version here we can clearly see uh, the two partitions, partition 0 and 1, and the fact both of them have the same operating system. It doesn't have to be this way. What I would like to show you also how to um, upgrade the operating system or the firmware from the command line. This is now a functional uh, controller. We can upgrade the operating system or we can download the new operating system if you like using TFTP. So copy TFTP. Now that is the operating system I have downloaded from Aruba uh, asp.arubanetworks.com, which is our, uh, which is Aruba support portal, and you will specify what partition that will go to. In this case, we are specifying partition zero. Files will be copied. Obviously, uh, we can clearly see the TFTP server. Um, and um, activity here and that matches what we see on the actual console of the uh, controller there we go now the new operating system gets installed um, to make sure that it is effective we will issue this command we can clearly see now in partition 0 is 8.6 we're gonna reload that controller now once we reload, reload the controller obviously then uh, whatever you would like to do with that controller now the controller is being reloaded with double checking the parameters if you would like uh, everything is set as we uh, expected now I'm going to show you how if you would like to um, to uh, 
use, using the C, uh, CP boot mode how to upgrade or how to install version 8. It is the same process. You can always use the help command, help upgrade. Here we are showing you how to download and use the operating system version 8.6 for the controller 705. Here we will say yes and it's the very same process that we have used in version 6. There's no difference whatsoever. Once that installed, you can clearly see that will be downloaded. Now we will reboot, either use boot if command or reload command if you would like. Or we'll always use help command at this um, um, in this uh, mode. You can always, now you can clearly see the operating system being downloaded, installed. And again, the same process we're going to apply. We are going to set up the controller from scratch with the valid operating system. Now, you will notice that this controller now has two different operating systems, one in partition 0, which is 8.6, one in partition 1, which is um, 6.5.1.1. Um, Again, the same principle applies. Uh, you can boot from any partition if you wish to do so. Here we're configuring parameters for the, for the controller. We can see the controller is restarting now at the user prompt username admin password ever you can clearly see there are or there is no enabled password because that's version 8 so image version you can clearly see it is version 8.6 wonderful we can see it is really functional now and the controller is working thank you very much for listening to this video i hope you did enjoy it and i'll see you in future videos thank you